start off today with news out of the state house leaders at the Department of Education say they want millions of dollars in next year's budget to raise teacher pay and boost school safety. About two hours ago, they wrapped up a presentation in front of House lawmakers with a list of requests. Becky Budge has the details. So we have a lot of hard work to do, but we have hope to propel us to get there. State Superintendent Ellen Weaver presenting the Department of Education's budget priorities for the 2024-2025 school year. We have divided our budget priorities into four main categories, student success, teacher support, workforce readiness, and safe schools. Among the highlights is raising starting teacher pay by $2,500. This would be in line with the governor's goal of raising starting pay to $50,000 by 2026. We know that a highly paid, effective teacher is the secret sauce of student success. It also includes $20 million for school safety upgrades like new door locks and bulletproof windows, in addition to $10 million to give school bus drivers a $2,500 retention bonus. Um, we know that nothing matters if our teachers and our students aren't safe. Another big ask is $30 million to fund education scholarship accounts. According to Weaver, 1,100 students have applied so far. However, lawmakers like Representative Neil Collins are skeptical of the cost. So we're ultimately saying in the Department of Ed budget, we'd rather have ESA is funded then another five, six hundred dollars to teachers going closer to that fight for 50. Additionally, Weaver is asking for $10 million to implement new math standards across the state. We have reduced the number of standards by 35 percent, and I want to hasten to add that we have not diminished rigor in any way. But the proposal must navigate the legislative process before receiving final approval in June. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.